A great institution is characterized first by its people, secondly by its by its history and legacy, and thirdly by its future orientation. An institution that has a research orientation, an institution that is linked closely, you know, to really empowering teachers. You know, between a child's hope and a child's fulfillment lies the teacher. Between preparation and the fulfillment of the calling of the vocation lies the teacher. Essentially, OTE mission is to prepare teachers to meet the need of the 21st century learners. We really want our teachers to not only just transmit knowledge, we want them to be shaper of character, facilitator of learning and architect of learning environment. I think NIE for me, like for most of my peers, was a time of learning. But it was also a time uh, where I unlearned a lot of things, a lot of assumptions I had about students and learning. NIE emphasizes a lot on the theory-practice nexus. Um, theory without practice is useless because it doesn't enhance or add value to the organization and school that we're teaching in. On the other hand, practice without an understanding of theory means we won't be able to innovate and improve on existing processes and, and systems in schools. But I think at NIE you really meet people who are very passionate and you do need to be able to plan good lessons but beyond that it's really about helping to mould the character of the future students. In recent times we have actually embarked on what we call the Teaching Scholars uh, Program for uh, aspiring A-level students who are very clear that they want to enter into the core of the teaching profession. With the four years, uh, it is possible for us to inculcate the correct value, give them the content mastery, help them understand more about our learners. And I think, more importantly, they can do research as well as they go to school four times. So there is a very tight interweaving of theory practice. Um, I think what's very great about NIE is that you know that every single person here wants to be a teacher and is going to be a teacher in the future and I think there's something about being together with like-minded people it really bonds us all together and I think we can really share our frustrations and our joys and even motivate each other when, um, when we are feeling jaded or feeling disillusioned and that's when we can really find comfort in, the, in our classmates who are going through similar problems as well. The mission of GPL is to deliver quality programs um, in high degrees, professional development which is in service as well as leadership learning in a way that's very relevant to the local education landscape as well as the educational landscape beyond. So we have three kinds of programs and courses. For higher degrees we have um, close to 30 programs and specialisations. These include PhD, Doctor in Education and a whole range of master's degree programs. We also offer milestone program courses for leaders in the education sector. Leaders in education are people who must firstly believe in education. They are passionate about it and they are able to influence others to both believe in it and to be passionate about it. The Leaders in Education program, I find it a very holistic program. Uh, it's not only cognitively stimulating, it makes you think about uh, emerging trends, emerging issues. It's all very essential for us to make sense of the complex challenges we face today, as well as to find our own uh, footing as who we are as school leaders. This office oversees educational research um, entrusted uh, to us from the Ministry of Education. What we do is we steward and oversee the kinds of research that we would like to promote in Singapore schools. We need to ground our responses in evidence and research is one important way to provide that sort of evidence because after all, what we do, we want to know that it works and it works in our context. We have partnership with the Columbia University, with the Institute of London. The reason NIE has uh, arrived at this kind of international recognition is basically because of the very innovative, far-sighted and the excellent work that has been done by many of our top 
uh, educators and colleagues. Okay, I think that the NI community is very tight-knitted. Uh, in the sense that all the friends that I had knew each other. It was like a uh, Facebook on campus. Very nice because um, even the lecturers are uh, as connected to us as we are to each other. So that forms like a, a, a big family in that sense. Because it was not just a pursuance of degree or knowledge, but it was more about human interactions, about sharing experiences. And for me, it shaped your whole person when you prepare to become a teacher and it's very important for the experience. Education is about people. It's always about people. They are not robots to be put through a system. Education in the 21st century must educate the whole child and the whole person. Education involves guiding, facilitating inquiry and discovery, as well as shaping and molding character and values. Remember, effective teachers are not just teachers of the subject. More importantly, we are teachers of the learners. As a teacher, I would really want to help my students find the joy of learning and help them to realise that learning can be fun, it's not just about exams. And um, also beyond that, I think I want them to know that they are of value and they are of worth and they should not find their value in just their exam results. Uh, I think that's important and that's the kind of difference I want to make. We don't know what the future will bring. Uh, we try to plan for it. We act as though we can anticipate it. But the reality is, it's completely unknown. So in essence, you have to prepare leaders who are ready for the unknown. At the end of the day, NIE is the only teacher education um, institute. And therefore, we are responsible in terms of training all the teachers in Singapore schools. How well we train our teachers will have a huge impact on how well our students learn. But I'm not talking about how students learn in terms of the content knowledge, but how do they develop and become good citizens. So to me, I feel that huge sense of responsibility, that I need to make sure that my student teachers have a heart really for education, have a heart really for teaching the kids. And therefore, the kids in the school can really benefit from that kind of teaching and learning experience because those kids will one day grow up to become leaders of our country. Teachers in the 21st century, they need to be reflective practitioner and adaptive leaders. So what it means is that they need to be able to reflect on their practice. They need to um, do research and inquire to deepen their understanding. They need to be able to adapt and innovate their teaching so that they can reach every child. As educators, we can't be everywhere with our students, but if we give them the roots, the foundation, regardless of what the world has to offer, they keep their values, but they learn other ideas along the way. Education is about not just uh, fulfilling learning outcomes and so on, but it is actually about the kind of faith in the learners and always putting hope in the learners. That's what the education is all about. Giving people faith and hope. What then is needed of us as beginning teachers, as teachers of the Singapore Education Service? Perhaps more than ever, we need clarity of vision and a deep sense of purpose in what we are doing. No matter where we are in the service, a vision and a sense of purpose that is guided by doing what is right and best for the child.